All right, so let's go ahead and start organizing the sky. Um, right now we have created a furniture schedule and it's just listing all the furniture. Um, and it's listing duplicates so you can see icons of denim and Cap del Eco and all that kind of stuff, just multiple versions of it. So I want to start to organize this a little bit. So I'm going to go into my sorting and grouping and I'm going to sort by type mark and I'll click OK. And so now it's sorting by type mark and these are missing type marks. So we can go and fill those in if we want to. So um, I could say this is, you know, T space 06, right? And now it'll um, rearrange that, right? Oh, apparently there's, other, there's already a T06, but it's not placed, so we won't worry about it. The entertainment system, maybe this is E01, right? I hit enter and click OK, and now that'll be reshuffled. And let's say we want to look at them individually like we want a space between those so I can go to sorting and grouping and I can put a blank line between them right click OK so now it's dividing them all it's showing every single one of them which is a lot so I'll go back to sorting and grouping and I'll get rid of itemize every instance and click OK and so now it's just going through and showing me each one of these guys um, individually and then it will give me the count of how many there are right at the end so that's a little better right um, we can also go through um, and divide them up by the type of thing that they are you know so um, if I were to go back to here and I pick let me pick the bed right under the comments it says bed right so if I go back to my furniture schedule and I go to the fields and I add the comments so I'm just going to go to comments and push that over at the end and click OK and if I let's go ahead and scroll this in even though it, so you can see comments bed 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 chair table um, this is entertainment so we'll just do entertainment or we could just say this is casework maybe right and then um, this is a sofa right so we'll just put um, sofa and this is a sofa maybe and it's giving me error messages because these are in a group but um, you can go through here's a table so let's go ahead and make this a table and We'll leave this one uncategorized. And then if we wanted to, we could actually go to sorting and grouping. And instead of sort by type mark, we could sort by comments and then by type mark. And then if I click OK, boom, it sorts it into the chairs, the beds, the casework, and the tables, right? Gives me all the counts. And this one is does not have a comment, so but if I came in and gave it a comment of table, it would rearrange it down into the tables, right? I can also come into sorting and grouping and I can put a header at the top, right? So bed, casework, chair, sofa, table. And then I can come in and hide this column so it's not there anymore. I don't really need it. Um, and so you're starting to get you know basically different ways of arranging it you could go in and, and instead of in the comments putting you know chair sofa table bed you could go in and put in the rooms that they're in and divide it by room or something like that and then start to get your um, your schedule done now once it's done or pretty much done you can place it on a sheet so I'll scroll down here to uh, my sheets and I'll go to the furniture plan here um, and I already have a couple but I'll pull this new one out so if I go down um, go to my schedules sorry went right by them and I pick that furniture schedule too I can pull that out and I'll just place it over here right and you can see that it's starting to put those guys in so I'll go to the um, and show you how to enter this image so if I go to the um, double click on this it'll open up the the schedule 
for me again. And if I go to this little dot, dot, dot under image, I can then go add an image, right? And I'll just add again. I don't have an image for this one, but you could obviously make one. And I'll click open and click OK. And now it's adding that. And if I go back to the furniture plan, you'll see that it adds that little image in there. And you can have an image, you could have a material, you could do a whole lot of things. Um, the family is the family name. So as it's imported, maybe you don't want that. You have manufacturer name. You can also have a manufacturer uh, number, you know, all that kind of stuff. So whatever it is that you want to show, but you know, maybe at some point, you know, it's good enough just to have for right now, just, just that. And if you look at the uh, furniture plan, you know, you have the type that out and the mark and the count and then I mean man some of them they just name these things to no end like these little guys are super long so you could go in and change the type name you just go to edit type and rename it and make it more make it a more simple name um, again there's a lot of variation in the way that these furnitures this furniture is made so sometimes you need to do a little work to get what you need right all right